Hey dolls, this is Vanity. So I'm coming to you with my full autumn haul. And um, everything that I'm showing you are footwear and bags, okay? Um, I did go shopping as far as clothes, but I just want to show you the shoes and bags because I got the clothes a little, like a couple of weeks ago, and I don't really feel like going through them all over again to see what I got. So I'm going to show you my bags and my shoes. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the bags. So I got this Chanel inspired bag and I got this from Gone, A Gone Glamorous. No, it's called Gone Glamorous. It used to be goneglamorous.com, but I think it's Big Cartel now. Um, I will definitely post, post the link in the bottom bar, but this is um, a inspired Chanel bag and it has the two C's, it's the quilted print. This one comes in pink. Um, it also comes in a lot of other colors. She carries like um, a lighter pink, a lavender, like a salmon type color. She carries like black, red. She has a variety of colors in this bag. Um, and then it has like the chain. So you can wear it like this, or you can make the chain longer and wear it on your shoulder. And then the back, it has like a little pocket right here. And when you open it, it has a small little place right here. To me, you can't really stick anything but like a lip gloss or something right here. And then you have the compartment right here. And then you open it, and it has the two Chanel C's. And it says, it says Chanel made in France right here. And then you open it, and it has like three different compartments. And then another compartment so this one is really good it has a whole bunch of room a whole bunch of space it's a perfect pocketbook to take out anywhere it's a perfect size it's a perfect look especially if you get it in black it will go with everything i wanted a more girly color so i got the pink in this is some good ass quality um this is the second bag that i got from her that i absolutely love i still have my celine inspired bag that i got from her that was black and white it is still in the same condition it was when i got it okay so just to give you an update on that her bags are well worth the money the best quality inspired bags that i have ever come across in my life so i definitely suggest her site if you're looking for inspired items okay so go check out her site um then i got this bag it's a big bag and i i don't know what it is i just wanted a really big bag like you know you see people they have these huge bags and they have so much in it and i just needed that one big ass bag that i could go to whenever i want to spend the night out or whatever i'm going to do or if i have somewhere to be and i need a um, change of clothes or anything this is a great bag it has three compartments um and it is just so much space it's like space for days it has three compartments but within each compartment there are more pockets so it is so handy and i um and this is genuine leather um i got this from ebay i think it was about 60 something dollars but i absolutely love it and then it has like the two drawstrings on the sides. Like I freaking love this bag so much. Like I will throw this on with anything. I mean any color. It is not, doesn't matter. I will throw this bag on with anything. And it's like a um like a taupey brown tan color. I freaking love it. So like everyday wear. And then um, last but not least for the bag, I got this bag and it is a medium size bag and I absolutely love this bag too. I'm just loving, you know, the royal family, like I love royal blue. So I got this, it's suede and it only has one compartment and then you know it has like the cell phone and then like a little zipper and then a little extra, um, little extra pocket and then it has... You know, if I want to wear it on my shoulder or around, I could wear it. So I like this bag as well. And this one was inexpensive. It was like, I want to say like $18. Okay, now let's get to the shoes. And I know, y'all know, I cannot, like, I'm not a shoe girl, like, anymore. Like, I used to be the girliest of the girliest. Like, seriously, all I used to wear was shoes. But, um, you know, once you become a mom and you just, 
you know, doing a lot of walking, you ain't gonna be one to wear heels and it's so inconvenient. Like sneakers are the best things for moms. Like I'm really like a mom, a mom mom. Like one of those soccer type moms that wanna wear sneakers and leggings and sweatpants all the time. That's me, but I wear jeans. Like I, I dress it up, but I have to have sneakers. So let me show you the things that I got. I got a whole bunch of sneaker wedges and I'm even gonna show y'all some shoes I just got, yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the sneakers. Um, yeah, now I have to get one good pair of sneakers. So I got these and these are shocks. These are Nike shocks and believe it or not, these were only $95, which I love cause I'm used to buying the Jordans and paying like $170 cause I usually get them before they even come out. But um, yeah, I got the Nike shocks and it, this is an electric pink. This is like a bright pink and then it has a black and white in it and I freaking love it. I so love it. Every time somebody sees me in these, they tell me these are nice because I haven't been seeing, I have never seen not one person in these sneakers. So that makes me feel good that I'm walking around not looking like everybody else. So, like, I, and I got these from Foot Locker. It was only $94 okay so um next up i'm gonna show you my steve maddens so i got these steve madden sneaker wedges and um like my wall the the light is washing out the color it is not burgundy my wall is not burgundy neither these are purple <laughs> they're like a really dark plum purple and my wall is dark plum purple as well i don't know why it looks burgundy i hate burgundy but yeah these are plum purple and um these are from steve madden and when i say so uncomfortable i so mean it like i thought sneaker wedges were supposed to be comfortable these are so uncomfortable they make my toes hurt really 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 bad like i seriously bad so i've only worn these once for like an hour like i barely walk around at all and i believe these were like 80 something dollars i really can't remember because i got them about a month and a half ago i just don't wear them i think maybe a month ago but i just don't wear them because they hurt my feet the first day i wore them so yeah that's the first pair my favorite pair that i picked up so far period are these these are comfortable, but these are not something I'm going to walk around in on an everyday basis. This is something I would definitely wear out in because even though these are sneaker wedges, they look very, very um, dressy. They don't look like, you know, um, dressed down. These are something that are very, very dressy. Um, if I wear them, you would see. They're not like sneaker-ish. Like they really look like wedges. Like you see how they define the line right here? To let you know that it is a heel and these are reminding me of the Giuseppe Zanatti's and I love them I absolutely love these and then it has like the um, embellishment right here on the strap these are everything and I believe these were like a hundred and something I can't remember like I said I got these like a month ago but I have not worn these yet and these are my favorite I can't wait to go out because these are what I'm going to wear like they make your feet look small and it just looks so freaking nice. Next up, um, these I got from Aldo's and they just, they're suede and then it has like a canvas. The um, cream part is canvas and um, these I felt would be cute with, you know, some skinny jeans this, on a regular day with a sweater because it is the fall now. A sweater would look great with these. These as well. I wore these um, to go pick up my daughter and child. My toes were burning. When I say burning, I mean burning. Like, I would think sneaker wedges are supposed to be comfortable. Sneaker and wedges. Wedges are supposed to be more comfortable than heels. But honey, the toes were burning like badly. So... I don't know I gotta figure something out that's gonna make them more comfortable because I feel like I'm wasting money I bought four damn pairs of sneaker wedges thinking they were gonna be so comfortable so these are the third pair and last but not least for the sneaker wedges I got these and these I got from Aldo as well I haven't worn these yet but I 
I'm just guessing they're going to be just as uncomfortable as the last pair because these are the same exact pair except that these have spikes and it's in taupe. And I actually got this one to go with this bag. I know this is suede and this is leather, but it still looks really um, nice together because the color is like dead on. But look at the spikes, honey. Ain't they cute? Yes. But I like these. I really, really like these. And last but not least, I don't know, you know, if this is located everywhere, but these, this place also has a, a site. I got this from the mall, but it's cool. It's a store called um, Call It Spray call it spring and to me it is very reminiscent of aldo's like every shoe that you can find at aldo's or steve matt like a couple of shoes you can find in steve madden but all the shoes you can find at aldo's you can find in this store for cheaper but the quality is just as good as aldo's um and even the box that it comes in is exactly like the aldo box let me show you how my aldo box looks has a string and everything just like the Aldo box okay so these are the heels I got I was going to a wedding and I just wanted a basic pump because I haven't had I haven't brought pumps in years I haven't worn pumps in years I just wanted a basic pump but with a little pop to it so um I definitely this is what I looked for that angle that right there gives your jeans pants life when i or a spin or, or a pencil skirt it gives it life that cut right here honey when i say bomb i, I mean i love it and um i wore these to a wedding and i i got kind of through the night with them on i mean my feet were burning after a while from just like standing in one spot but i was cool when i sat down and when i got back up like i was cool so these i i could see myself definitely wearing a lot i freaking love these shoes and as you can see the leather on them are excellent like the leather is good and um yeah i just recently found out they have a site and once again the site is called call it spring.com and it's very reminiscent of aldo like the stuff that i saw in aldo when i went in that store they had the same shoes and it even looks like if you have that store around you this store is in 34th street mall okay um in herald square 34th street mall has it. it's on the first floor right next to what is that accessory store I can't even remember the name of the accessory store, but it's right next door to the accessory store. So that's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will post all the information to everything that I got in the bottom bar. If it's a site to it, I will post it in the bottom bar. I'm unsure if any of these are still available because like I said, I got it a month ago, but I'm pretty sure they're still on the sites. Um, Cause I got everything from the sites except the um, one pair of shoes. Yeah, everything I bought online except that one pair of shoes, which was my last pair that I showed, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this haul once again. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments, and I will get back to you, okay? Bye, dolls.